in The Elder Scrolls 6. Since the release of Skyrim in the late 2011, everyone's been speculating what The Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be about. Where is it going to be set? Who's who, who the main race going to be? And so forth, you know, like all that people. But I've kind of gathered that I, I think that what we want is we want a change in the series. It should be like darker. The, the architecture should be back to like it was in Morrowind, a bit more unique, more interesting. And that, that reminds me, we have several locations in Tamriel we haven't visited as individual, individual provinces quite yet. So we're going to go through them, I suppose, later on in the video. But anyway, just so you know, I did take some of these shots myself. Not the one that's showing right now, it's from Skywind Project, but... I believe, but I did take some of these myself. Just think it's like maybe this has been copywriting again. Anyway, so the map of Skyrim isn't the largest, we can all agree right now. So that's the first thing that needs expanding, am I right? Larger map. Like continent size ESO. But no. No, that would just be a bit over proportional. So maybe look at the individual provinces of southern Tamriel where we haven't visited it as much and make a decision on which is best based on them for the next game, which you guys can vote down below. And I hope this video gets a few views anyway. I doubt it. Oh well. Nobody likes my channel. Um, but anyway, yeah, Morrowind had some interesting architecture and the forts were interesting. Oblivion had some good architecture, I mean Imperial Tower and so forth. And the weapons looked well decorated. Uh, Skyrim, the buildings were dumbed down and so were the NPCs a bit. The, the conversations, they were actually quite interesting in Skyrim. They were in Morrowind and Oblivion, but in Skyrim the conversations were a bit dumbed down. But, anyway, the outfits need to be a bit more appealing like this one, and the horses need to be a bit less retired like this one. Um, also, we don't need jokes about arrows and knees, because most people take them the wrong way, because nobody knows. Also, the graphics could be next-gen, that means we could get a lot out of them. Just see this, saturation and click. Poop. That's where the poop went. Oh, right, but anyway, so, um, it needs a good soundtrack too, so, yeah, Oblivion's a prime soundtrack, it's the, probably one of the best soundtracks in the Elder Scrolls franchise, including every, like, theme from inside the game, it is really good, I like the main theme, it was interesting. I enjoyed listening to it, like, yeah, it's good. But, the thing is about Oblivion is that it's, everyone's faces were stupid, they all look like idiots, they all look like they'd spent one night in a club, the next night in a strip club, the, the night after in a barn, and the night after that sniffing some weed. And you don't want that in an Elder Scrolls game, you want to have a more serious RPG element that you can get into, something that you can stay and not characters' faces that break the immersion completely. And trust me, Oblivion broke the immersion quite well with the faces, even though it was quite entertaining to start with. It was like, wow, you look like a simpleton. Wow. But moving on smoothly, I believe. Oblivion had some good points that they should bring back, like the minigame about coercing and all that. I think they should bring that back, it was quite interesting. I mean, maybe change it a bit so it's a bit more the Skyrim, like with the coercing type thing, so you can say it's something like, If you don't give me that maggot, I will make you be eaten by a maggot. Maybe. I don't know. I'm mentally insane, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, this video is reaching its five minute mark as it is while wow, it's going fast. So, Tamriel, hmm, now where in Tamriel will we explore? Well, I'm going to say the northern bits a bit cancelled now, as you'll see later. Um, 
Hammer Fell was quite interesting. Valmwood, I'm not overly in, keen on elsewhere. But maybe we should expand bigger than Tamriel in the next Elder Scrolls game. It's next gen, I mean, what can it run if all of Nern? Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. So, the graphics need to be improved like this. Um, and if it turns out this is a simulation of Fallout, I will be extremely peed off. Um, in the last Elder Scrolls game, if it turns out you wake up and it's like, it's Fallout, that I will be peed, like, properly. But the needs what good wallpapers like this, like landscapes, good. We need a lot of good landscapes, um, and so forth. Um, and we also need some appealing on a multiplayer. What do you guys think of that? Comment down below if you think of multiplayer. I personally don't think it would help the Elder Scrolls game since the Elder Scrolls Online just got launched a few months ago. I don't think it would help in any way to the Elder Scrolls as a series. I think the multiplayer should be left for the Elder Scrolls Online. And also, I don't want the Santa outfit like hidden somewhere because they don't want first run da la la. Uh, also, the the fighting it can do maybe have coordination in it. You know, coordination in the combat. So you hit the leg, you just hit the leg. You hit the chest, they bleed to death. Maybe if you hit the chest, they die. If you hit the head, it just falls off. I don't know. Also, the Elder Scrolls has been spending a lot of time in the cold in the past few games. I mean, in the past Elder Scrolls games, like Elder Scrolls, from Morrowind to um, Skyrim, I was in the warmest. Oblivion was alright, but since, well, towards the north, it was quite cold. I want to see a province that isn't exactly chilly. Something with heat. Something new, like elsewhere, or maybe Hammerfell. Yes, elsewhere. We're going to start off with that, I think. Yes. Starting off with elsewhere. I believe. I don't know where we are at the moment. What's going on? Right. Yes, this is elsewhere. I think. I hope. But anyway, it's the Khajiit are a bit mental in their own way. It's kind of interesting. They make interesting characters. They're just like, all bulky and... You what, mate? I bash you in my cap, genie. Um, but they kind of now Morrowind. Hmm, not interesting enough. We've already seen it. But the Khajiit, they interest. They keep me interested. Like unlike Morrowind, where the dumb are all like, "Go away, you sweat." Um, in well, with the Khajiits, they're all interesting. The dialogue is interesting. Everything about them is interesting. You just want to learn more about why they're outcasted. Um, where better to learn about that? than their home province. Elsewhere. Home. Yeah, imagine it. Just going to elsewhere in an Elder Scrolls game without having to download the Moon Path to Elsewhere mod, which is actually not as good as I thought it was before I started playing it. But, no offence to Muppet Puppet who made it, but the, the characters got some interesting designs and I believe that I'm more interested in seeing like a variety of races kind of joined together in this one instead of like a Nord thing or a Dumba thing or maybe an Imperial thing. Or a Daedric thing, but also, yeah, these are the sand screenshots that I made. But also, we need a more vast variety of drinks, like you know, some stuff from previous Elder Scrolls games, like all the drinks. Also, I was thinking of a setting, maybe like I don't know, like late fourth era, start of the fifth era type thing, you know, and there have to be beautiful landscapes like this, like elsewhere, it looks good, it looks. Good and also libraries full of books. I know this is on Soul Slime in a mod, but you know, oh well, which is interesting. I've always wanted to visit Morrowind in a good, well, good quality game, but game well graphics wise. But besides that, Morrowind's way you could go for that. Yeah, also, there needs to be a lot of books, you know, interesting stuff to read, just like, yeah, just a lot of skill books, if you can see. Spot my um, character, I will pay you, yes. No, I won't, but you could probably spot him anyway. Um, yeah, also, if there's a civil war, you have to be more immersive with it, like proper immersion. They've got to build on the characters a bit. They've got to build on how the soldiers act, how they fight. And also, the Dark Brotherhood quest could be a lot more interesting, and it's just really bad. I, I, I didn't really enjoy it. It was alright, but it was the best. I think the Oblivion one was better. Also, the Wood Elves, now. Wood Elves, hmm. Valenwood. That's a lovely place for an Elder Scrolls game. I think it's ideal. 
It's interesting. It's new. Yeah, that's interesting art. I don't know where I got that. I can't really think of that. I just found it and it's really cool. But anyway, it's it's kind of it's, it'll be new, it'll be like something new for the Elder Scrolls fans, keep them interested. Just look at that. That is beautiful. Come on. Can't just agree with me. And also imagine armors like that, that'll be good in a next gen quality. Just come on guys, just vote with me here. Just stay, it's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Don't know what quality this video is going to be, by the way. It might be a bit low. Oh, well. The um, Valenwood is um, very interesting. The cities are in trees, which is quite cool. I like that. I think it reminds me a lot of trees. And also, it's probably the most interesting place besides Morrowind in Tamriel. I am interested in both of them, like my roosting places. Um... Yeah, also, if there's a civil war, it has to be immersive, like I said. So maybe have those weird, like, hats. Why Why is the civil war quest in Valenwood immersive? Funny hats. But anyway, the villages need to be quite cool. As you can see, the, the inns in the next Elder Scrolls game. Please make them unique. Every inn needs to be different. They were all the same. I was tearing out my eyes by the end of the week. Well, besides ones in the cities, those are quite different, but the ones outside of the cities, they're all the same. Please make them unique, like the towns. Make them unique. Make the buildings unique. Please spend time, Bethesda, on making everything look great. And trust me, you will have one of the best games ever made if you do that. And also, the story-wise, that needs to be good. And maybe, like, some potato was stolen and you have to go get them back from Barry's farm. Or you, you could have rolled down a stream and found out that you'd broken your penis. Um, or you could just go into a, play a shop in Whiterun and find out that you're going to Valenwood. Or you could just randomly stumble across a hunter attacking a mannequin. But, that, those, those are issues that you could find in Skyrim with mods. Also, I like to see the Wood Elves, they're quite interesting, they're very cool, they've got some nice stuff, they've got interiors, they're quite awesome, really. Also, we need good scenery, something, and I don't mean something that that isn't moddable because it's so good, I mean something that you can go back to as vanilla after you've modded it to death, so you can just go back to it and enjoy it again. You couldn't really do that with Skyrim or Oblivion or Morrowind, because they just weren't as good without mods, but, so you can't go back to those without, mo with, without mods after you've modded it, but you can probably do that with the next Elder Scrolls game, since they're going to have to enhance for that type of stuff. Anyway, there are... Also, we need interesting creatures, like maybe those orange crabs that you find in Moon Path elsewhere. I'm not asking you to include worms to it, but I'm just adding some screenshots of it because I'm just running out of things to give at this point. Oh, well. But... The Elder Scrolls needs, let's just say, more corpses on stakes. Don't don't take down to heart if you've been a corpse on a stake before. But also we need a beautiful scenery like this. I took this screenshot myself. It's um, a darkness overhaul. It was brilliant. That was without oversaturating it. Oh, and off fighting this guy it was quite funny. Yeah, I had to do it in the grey quarter at night just to show all the dunma that I'm not a slit. Also, they need to have the taverns more decorated, especially if they're, like, Dunma Tavern specifically, they need to have, like, the lanterns and all that. If it's a Dunma Town, have, like, the lanterns and stuff. If it's some town related to a race, have the lanterns and etc. Just make it look stunning, like I know it can be. Now, make uh, about making the towns unique, like, buildings look, look like this, and an Iverstead mod that I downloaded. Uh, hi, if it was you who made the mod. But look how nice those houses look. Okay, maybe, maybe it's a bad example, but still. At least they look unique, and that's what Skyrim lacked. Unique um, areas. Everything needs to be different in just arm oh, making these weird hand dresses. Everything needs to be diverse. Everything has to have its own qualities that you would not find in anywhere else on the map. Something that you can just get stuck into the, that part of the game for hours, and then just move on and get stuck in another part of the game for the same amount of time. Trust me, that way you'll have a lot of fun for your viewers, and you'll earn more money, people will want to buy the DLCs when they come out, if they come out, if the game comes out ever. Also, they need to be adventurers and merchants and all that travelling Skyrim. I downloaded a mod for that, but...
planet needs it. Well, not Skyrim, the world, but like in Skyrim, I downloaded the mod, but also needs to be like a destroyed town here and there, like that, like this mod, which is something from the Beyond Skyrim mod. Also, maybe make the textures look good. Yeah, maybe that make the armor's interesting, like this one is. It's um, not a mod actually. Um, maybe other factions. Oh, and with make so the game make it so everything you do has an impact. So maybe if you join a guild, you can't join another guild, like in Morrowind. I mean, that's a way of how it's dumbed down. Also, you need in every RPG you need to have the ability. To name your character. I know you've done this very well. Can we start with something that maybe isn't being almost killed or freed as a prisoner? Maybe, please. I don't like it how Bethesda has some prisoner and baby fetish or courier fetish. It's just weird. Um, so, please, let's start off. We're going to start off the next Delta Shores game. Please make it. Interesting. Also, like I said about the south part of the map, that there you go. Um, please make the start interesting. Make it look like some. Maybe you're raised on a village. Choose your race character, and you are, are an adopted child. And then your father, the, the mother and sister, dog and cow and horse and chicken get killed. And then you go out for revenge and some or something. Maybe make it something interesting, something new, something legit. Yeah. Also, we need some. Monies. No? Okay. But. We could revisit Morrowind, and I don't mean Vardenfell, I mean like the entire chunk of it. Like the entire thing. The mainland, Vardenfell, Solsheim. What other dumbness happens are there? Everything in between. Uh, yeah. Also, maybe make some. Interesting. I don't know, some. Easter eggs can kept to a uh, agreeable level. Now Hammerfell, yes, Hammerfell. Glass arm for some reason. What the hell? What what's going on? Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna add these screenshots in before we talk about Hammerfell because I am um, the guy who made Falskar Alexander J. Vilicky did a good job of it, and I can see how something like this could. Possibly relate to how good we need the next little scrolls again to, go, to be because have you seen how well that that mod has how far it's come and how good it is? It's kind of it's like a whole new game. I haven't played much of it, but it's quite good. Also, maybe some blood textures that go just everywhere like this. Yes, disturbing. I'm disturbed, but also. Yeah, like I was saying about needing to go expand to the whole of Morrowind. That would be epic. Also, maybe a path to the maps. It would be very nice, interesting, and I wonder what the new character models will be. Hopefully, a bit more real. Something that's just not like, I'm a bulky bastard. I'm here to do your jobs. I don't make any gestures with my hands. Something like, you know... I'm going to touch you, you're not going to like it. Which is my opinion. Now on to Hammerfell, okay? The Red Guards would make a very interesting story. Interesting. Legit. Dwemer related, you know, very cool. They've got, like, this it's sand, it's new, something. We haven't really seen a warm Elder Scrolls game. Morrowind's alright, Oblivion was alright. But Skyrim was freezing, the north of Cyrodiil was freezing. North of Morrowind was freezing, but yeah, we need something new. So I know that if you we went to Hamfell, would see that desert, the Alakir Desert. It's just it would make such a good difference. It'll be so interesting. Yeah, and that's some box art design by some guy. I don't know who it was, but it looks cool. Could be legit. I don't know. It's not legit. Um, I don't think. But the Red Guards. In my opinion, a very interesting race. They're quite the strong, the strongest able fighters in all Tamriel. They would, they do deserve to have their own Elder Scrolls game based in their province. Yep, and that's on Soul Sign. But still, they they deserve it, and I can't wait to see what Bethesda does about their Elder Scrolls characters.
Um, moving on to the uh, Argonians. The Black Marsh, which is a very underrated hole. That they, they, they're not really, we've not really been to Black Marsh. There's a mod for it, but that's about it. The Elder Scrolls 69 Black Marsh. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it, guys. But they deserve it. That as you can see, they've come a long way from Arena, and they should uh, in character build, and think they can do better. Still, but Black Marsh is so interesting. It's all boggy. It's all marshy. It's all terrain. It's all harsh and forgiving, like Skyrim. Just a bit warm, warmth, warmth in an Elder Scrolls game. There's something. There's something that these provinces have in common. Is if you played an Elder Scrolls game in that place, and it's set there, it could be dark. Come on, like the Assassin's Creed games have always been quite bro bright and they've always been able to contrast light bright games with dark games and let's relate this this way Assassin's Creed 4 did that very well it was quite bright and it was quite dark Assassin's Creed 3 was just dark come on I want to have a quite bright quite dark so part partially bright in a way and partially dark that'll be quite interesting but anyway we're coming to an end of the video this took me about five hours to assemble all the pictures please don't hate on that I don't know what quality it'll be, but this is just to, for me to talk over the, the pictures. I wasn't going to get any gameplay up because I couldn't be bothered. Oh, it would have saved me time though, and I can't go back to the unmodded Skyrim now. That's how much I've modded Skyrim. But anyway, thanks for watching YouTube. Subscribe for more videos. Like, share, comment. Bye. I hope you like this art too. I probably doubt the subscribe. No hateful comments on flame walls. Goodbye.